reactions from members of parliament, Ugandan members of parliament, on that speech by Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta. Let's bring in Angelo Izama, political analyst from Uganda. Angelo, if you can hear me, thank you for joining us on KTN Prime. I'd like to get your thoughts on that speech by President Uhuru Kenyatta that touched on the youth, business, security, and regional unity. Well, I think that Uganda's um, uh, situation with Kenya has turned the corner several times in the past three years, but on two key issues, security and the economy, there seems to be a meeting of minds in the state houses. And I was expecting uh, nothing but um, a continuation of these announcements of, uh, you know, we are going to continue doing projects together, uh, especially around security in the region on terrorism, but lately also on the, uh, the focus of the two presidents on uh, deepening our interconnectivity, particularly by uh, uh, putting their support behind big infrastructure projects. Angelo, so how would you define the relationship between Kenya and Uganda in the last couple of years, three or four, if, I'm, if I can say? I think President Museveni has invested uh, in cultivating a much more uh, uh, sustainable uh, relationship built around this idea of East African community. Uh, a lot of people around Uganda would have hesitated, essentially because you know, Kenya is a, a big um, economic power at our borders, controls the coast. Um, in more normal times, you wouldn't consider that a positive uh, uh, stance because, you know, uh, they can cut you off of the coast. Uh, but um, I think the Ugandan government of the day has taken the view that progressive relationships with Kenya involve joint investments Mm. that would uh, further embed the Kenyan economy with the Ugandan economy. Uh, but also the situation in Somalia has changed things for us so much uh, so that the main export of Uganda, which is security, has become also essential to Kenya. Yeah, it's now a regional issue. Angelo, allow me to quote a little bit of what President Uhuru Kenyatta said. He said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. And uh, he made a call for a unified agenda saying grand pan-African dream of eliminating the remnants of colonial boundaries, uh, saying the Federation will be prosperous and secure, a powerful member of community of nations able to defend our interests. Um, is he, in a way, from listening into that speech, uh, and that speech was sort of um, leaning towards a unified Africa, how hopeful are you that we can have a unified Africa in the next couple of, of years? And what must the region do to achieve that? But not in your lifetime or my lifetime. And presidents can, you know, sing like swans uh, when they're in power, but the political realities are for you and I to comprehend. I think that um, African unity at a continental level is just a dream. Our own president has considered that it's going to be a gradual process. Let's talk about what brings Kenya and Uganda really together, and it's just a handful of projects that we're talking about here. And there are infrastructure projects on the one hand and uh, economic ties on the other, but also joint security around um, our commitment in Somalia. Once those things, if they were to disappear, uh, we don't have as much in common anymore. And like I said, Uganda has to deal with the reality that Kenya is an economic bully at our borders that controls the coast. And if relationships with uh, Kenyan politicians were to change, we would find ourselves in a bind. And policymakers here have to prepare for that eventuality, regardless of who's in power. All right, Angelo Izama, political analyst from Uganda, thank you for speaking to us on KTN Prime.